the research has been called the career women experiment. Is that right? Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a journalistic uh, gloss on what I do. So, uh, an experiment I'm notorious for is... Guilty. Is, uh, sorry, uh, is, well, I, I, I like to think of it sometimes as a graduate school experiment. Basically, uh, normally flies in a lab are reproduced in very quick cycles. So what journalists would call trailer park trash, you know, your grandmother when you're 36 years old. Um, <clears throat> so what I did was I set up, in, first in the 1970s, um, populations in which uh, the uh, organisms, the flies in question, would have all the sex they wanted, so that's sort of like graduate school, medical school, but uh, any reproduction they did was all their eggs were discarded until they reached a sufficiently late age, which you can think of your academic like tenure, or a physician, you get your medical practice, you finished residency. If you're a journalist, you finally got that job hosting television news shows, <laughs> something like that. And then we take the offspring to start the next generation. And we, we do call that generation. Regis. Yeah. <laughs> we do it generation after generation after generation, and the population evolves as evolution's evolutionary theory suggests it should, evolves longer and longer lifespans. And just last year, we published our first paper on how that happens genome-wide, and it happens by changing not just one or two genes, but by changing hundreds of genes, that being how evolution normally operates. But you do that uh, uh, organically or artificially? Organic, artificial. In the lab, those two things converge. So. Uh, but, but it is an experiment y you can do with your descendants, so you like, 80 generations from now, if your descendants all refrain from reproducing until they're 40 or 45 years of age, then eventually they will evolve to live longer. I could be an experiment in your lab, is what that means. <laughs> uh, having a baby at 59 is, uh, it means, now you're saying that the older, if you isolate the older fruit flies mm -hmm. and only reproduce the offspring of the older fruit flies, mm -hmm. they will have longer lives, is what you're saying. If evolutionarily, that means over many generations. It will happen, yes. It's, it's just like how racehorses are bred, basically. If only the winning horse gets to breed, then you get faster and faster horses. But this does not solve the question, how do we make this happen right now? You're talking about 80 generations, which... Well, uh, you know, in science, we do this thing where we try to understand what's really going on, and once we understand what's really going on, then we can do big things in the practical world. E equals mc squared explains how the sun works. In 1945, Physicists showed the world how they could make very big explosions using E equals mc squared. But first you have to have Einstein's 1905 E equals mc squared before you get atomic power plants, atomic bombs, and so on. In the same way, my point of view is, if you are going to radically transform the aging process, you better do so using the correct science, not incorrect science.